All right, I just want to run you through how to uh, tie your own um, little bait fish patterns for fishing Puget Sound for the cutthroat um, or also um, salmon when they're around. Uh, so this guy's just gonna, you know, be real, real simple. Just a few different colors: of bucktail, some flash, body, head, and you're you're ready to rock. So let's get into it. It's the first thing: attach your hook. I always like to pinch my barbs down before I tie. Just a good habit to get into. We're going to start our thread, and we're going to run that all the way back to the bend. And then next up, what we're going to do here is just attach our diamond braid here. It's a flat diamond braid. Secure that down. run that up. I'm going to leave room to, to attach my uh, bucktail and, and kind of create a head here. So about two eye lengths back from the eye I'm going to leave there. I'm going to take my body braid, line that up forward, just overlapping the last wrap just slightly. There we go. Tie that off. And trim the excess. So there's that. Uh, now I already have some uh, bucktail pre-cut here. Uh, really, you know, you can keep these patterns pretty darn sparse. Um, they just end up fishing a lot better um, than if you add way too much bucktail. So um, here I have about 30 strands of, of white bucktail. Uh, so just kind of give you an idea of, of the amount here. Uh, depending on how long you want it to be, it's up to you. Um, about that length right there is looking good to me for right now. A couple soft loops and then pull straight up just to snug it down. Lift up the butt ends, trim that off. And one thing you can do if you have this, the bucktail kind of flying all over is just take your thumbnail and just kind of push it down, just kind of keep it, keep it in check there for you. And then what I'm going to do is grab some uh, pearl flashaboo here, uh, just a couple of strands. Gonna attach that. I'm just pulling this kind of straight up and then wrapping the thread back over it. That's gonna help just keep it on top of the, the shank, keep it in line. A few wraps to secure it. The next here I have about another 30 um, hairs of olive, kind of a light olive bucktail. I'm going to have these guys extend just slightly past the white. Same deal, just a few soft loops. And pull up on that third, fourth loop to tighten it. Kind of check it out, make sure it's laying how you want it. Lift up on the butt ends here, trim those guys. Now here you could add some more flash. I usually elect not to. Um, I don't like my flies overly flashy, so just a few strands in there is good enough for me. But if you want to, this would be a great point to, to add some more flash. And finally, I'm going to take my third color here. It's just kind of a, a chartreuse. Again, right around 30, 30 hairs of chartreuse bucktail here. Extending, again, just slightly past where my olive ended. Watch for that couple soft loops and pull straight up and work my thread back to cover that. Pull up on the butt ends, trim those guys. Now really all we have left to do is build up our head and uh, whip finish here. Kind of quickly um, build that up. Just want to make kind of a good platform to, to put our eyes. About how I want it. Go in. Let finish here. I usually like to do a second one just to make sure. 
and it's all lashed down and tight. There we go. Um, and so before, also before I add the eyes, I'm going to go back and kind of trim my, my flash of you here. Um, I like to extend just kind of beyond my bucktail. Um, so trim those guys. Um, and one quick way that I like to add my eyes for these guys is just simply take a sharpie and hit the one side and go back and hit the opposite side it's a great a little uh, technique just in case you run out of your prisma eyes or anything like that um, definitely not as flashy but does the trick and the last bit here just gonna add some head cement just to make that fly a lot more durable you're not getting any covering your eye of the hook there you have it um, definitely change up colors change up materials um, but just a great sparse little pattern um, fish that guy year-round future sound all right thanks guys